Morgan Lindsay here at the California Sound Studios to hang out with Warren G and one of Korea's favorite rookie rappers, Ratmon. I am not kidding, guys. Seriously, come on. Don't believe me? Come on. So tell me about this collaboration. How did you two get linked up for people that aren't aware of both your backgrounds or connections? Rap Monster uh, came out. They they were doing a reality type show, and uh, I was one of the artists that they chose to come out and, and uh, understand how I began doing music and starting in hip hop. And uh, that's where we first initially met, and then we done a few things from there. My manager had called me and was like, "Do you have a track for Rap Monster?" I said, "Yes." You know, I heard them rap, you know, before when they was here, so I know they could rap. So. I was excited just to see what he would put over over a Warren G track, yeah. and he laid it. What's the vision that you're going for for this track? Straight original Warren G style. Mm -hmm. Just chilling and just really, you know, make someone like, you know, like chill. Please don't die. I just, I just wrote the, wrote just the way I felt about it. Yeah, and, no yeah. judgment, just. Yeah, I just it. thought, I just, a, a word came to my mind and I just bumped up and so I, I just went with the flow, yeah. I'm curious to know, what was the first memory of falling in love with music? I fell in love with uh, Jimmy Spicer. Uh, he had a song called Super Rhymes uh, way back in the day. His style that he was using was like a, a rap singing type of style, so it just made me just open up to just a whole different type of hip hop. It influenced me a lot. That kind of is instilled in me also. You know, I got that kind of rap where I, you know, some of some of the words that I use, I don't know how, how I do it, but when I do it, it, it has like a singy, singy yeah. feel. Like it's, but I'm still rapping. First time I fell in love with music, it was like uh, eight years ago, I think. I guess it was like in 2007. So there was a Korean hip hop group named Epic High, and there was a song named Fly, and it was like boom, and in the first place in the K music program chart, and it was like you know, all the way in the country. And I first listened to that, and that's when I you know, fell in love with music. And also there was Eminem, his song, Without Me, was like, I always memorized the lyrics and, you know, copied his style and, yeah, I just always wanted to be him at the first uh, when I fall out of music. American Hustle Life, to me, like, as an American watching it, was a really great way for you, as a Korean non-American artist, to really get the real history and the roots behind what hip-hop is. And do you think that that experience is something that other Korean artists should have? Of course, if if it if it's possible, because you know, Kuli and Warren G just taught me everything. You know, their background and how they lived, and their thoughts about hip hop and music, and you know, and Kulio told me that you know, stay true to your heart. You know, that's hip hop, and Warren G always told me, you know, keep believing what you do and stay yourself, and that was lesson of life for me. What's one thing that you guys? both learned in 2014 separately, like a lesson, and what's something that you want to achieve this year? One of the lessons that I learned was I'm a good-hearted guy, mm -hmm. and everybody that that's always asking, Not get, I give take it to advantage them 98% of the time. So I got to learn how to know who's a blood sucker and who's not. Yeah. And then, you know, but, but for this 2015, you know, I'm just trying to take G-Funk to the top. What I learned in 2014 was, yeah, Stay true and staying busy is not so bad. Yeah, because yeah. last year was like, just past. Yeah. yeah, it's like so busy and so fast. And I thought, you know, I, I missed some time and yeah. Yeah, I missed something because I was so busy so I couldn't care about, you know, all things about, you know, everything. So, yeah. but I think that's not that bad. I learned something from it and yeah, and two, 2015, I think it'll be busier than the last year. So I really can't wait to, you know, to 
releasing new music and you know and tour that and everything. Do you think that that was just adjusting to like what your life has become, the busyness? Yeah, I did. I just accepted it. You know, that's yeah. me. That's my life. And yeah, they need to send me some of them shoes. Those are nice. Yeah. True. Who makes those? A size twelve, though. <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a man's in America. Uh, from Rick Owens. Oh. Okay. Do they sell those out here? Yeah. Rick Owens, yeah. I love them. Okay. Yeah, I love them. What do you guys hope to achieve with this collaboration? Like, are you trying to say something more than just this collaboration that more well, global production should happen? Yeah, it's just to show uh, the world that you don't have to be African American, you could be Korean, African American, you could be Japanese, you could be Jamaican, whatever, whatever culture, whatever you, you know, whatever you are, you can all, hip hop has got a, a, a home for you. It ain't just, you know, just all about black folks, it's bigger than that, you know, it's all about uh, talent and, and uh, yeah. you know, you know, people that, that, that just, it's, it's a, a loving and caring uh, culture. Currently, what are you playing on your iPod all the time? What's always on repeat? What artists are you listening to? I mean, I listen to a, a bunch of different artists, um, all the way from Ray Schrummert. Uh, Ray Schrummert? Oh. Yeah, right now, <laughs> I too. Got no time. Really? All That's the way really down, interesting. Look, all the way to BB King. You know, I, I got, I got like just, I got, I got, I got, I got a variety. You, got the whole you know, set. I listen to all varieties. Music is for you. And music is for you. A way word. of life. I think it is the best way to express somebody to the world. Yeah. Universal language.